So hello guys, welcome to the TechRoxo YouTube channel. In our today's video, we will talk about the Windows Admin Center. We will see uh, what is Windows Admin Center, and how we can download the Windows Admin Center, and we will install Windows Admin Center to our uh, local server, and we will manage the server from that Windows Admin Center. So what is Windows Windows Admin Center? From Windows Admin Center, we can manage our whole environment using a web based console so let's download the windows admin center open any browser and type windows admin center and here click on the first link and here you have to click on this windows download windows admin center and click on download the msi Here you have to fill a form to download this uh, app. Just fill it and click on download now. I have already downloaded it and pasted it to the both of the servers. And one more important thing is that we cannot install Windows Admin Center to the domain controller. If we try to install Windows Admin Center to a domain controller, it will give you an error. Let me show you. It is our domain controller. If I try to install the Windows Admin Center to this domain controller, it will give us an error. Look, this uh, error comes. This software is not supported on domain controller machines. So we can't install this on the domain controllers. We have to install this on the member servers like i have uh, this server we will install this on this member server wait Yeah, click on I accept. Next, next. Click on Use Microsoft Update when I click uh, Check for updates. Next, next, next. Here uh, it is asking for the port for the Windows Admin Center site. By default, it is choosing the 443 port and it will generate a self signed. SSL certificate because in our server there is not any certificate authority available right now and it will generate a self signed SSL certificate for itself this certificate will expire in 60 days now you can also choose any other port if you want to choose uh, we will choose it default click on next install Now it is installing. So it is installed in our server. We can access this with this link. We just click on this link. Now it is asking for the username password. Just enter your administrator. And here our Windows Admin Center is open. Okay, uh, we will reboot it later. So here our okay installed. So here our uh, this server is added uh, to configure this local server. We can use we can edit it from here. 
also we can add our domain controller to it and we can add many other servers uh, to it just wait i will show you click on add servers click on add here enter the server name our server name is Yes, we are 2k22. TechRoxor.com Okay, so it will ask me, it will ask for the credentials. We have to add credentials. We have to add our local uh, domain controllers administrator password. Administrator password. Enter your domain controllers ID password. On continue and here our domain controller is successfully joined to this windows admin center and here all the information about you know ram of a processor and processors and disk space each and every information is there and there is also cpu usage we can manage all the things from here also like for example, click on files. Here is the uh, local disk C of our domain controller. We can add, for example, we can, we will add a new folder here with the name of test submit creating folder and our folder is successfully created. Now we will check it on our domain controller. Go to file manager and this PC. See now here the test folder is successfully created. We will also download any file from any connected server. Like if we want to download any file. Or folder just right click on it or click on download it will download it so we can do a bunch of things from this windows admin center so in this way we we can manage all the servers from the windows admin center so thank you for watching this video subscribe for the latest upcoming videos and stay tuned